Okay, so that is... No, that's not a good idea. Um... I forgot all about that. <laughs> we lucked out so much, you guys. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to finish up our runway so as mentioned in the previous episode i finished out uh, the platform um here and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the rails in and then we're going to paint and then uh, hopefully everything will be ready to go i'm going to need more concrete to upgrade the rails but uh, we'll start with wood and upgrade them that way so let's go to here and we're going to do copy shape and copy rotation and we will start putting uh, these in, and that's going to be a corner piece. So we'll get that in after we get the straight pieces in. Okay, now let's copy this corner piece. And we'll get the corners in. Oh! What? Um, how did that get upside down? This isn't upside down. Oh, I didn't copy rotation, that's why. Okay. Um, so... Copy rotation. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, so that corner piece is in. <clears throat> I left a, a little piece here where we can do stairs down there. In case we need to climb down there for some reason. Um, this I'm actually going to leave open because this is going to be our takeoff point. So we'll turn that around there. We're going to have a stairs uh, down there too. Okay, I think that's good. Now, let's turn these back into... Um, uh, actually, I want to turn these into stairs. So let's go with these stairs here. And we'll... Um, no. No, no, that's not what we want. We want to... Let's go back to here. We want probably these stairs. Yeah, like that. And same thing over here. And then over here, we just want to go back to this piece. So copy shape, copy rotation. And we'll end it there, because this is going to be our takeoff. Now, for the takeoff... Um, what we might do here is... Well, I mean, that should be fine, just like it is. I think. Because, you know, we'll, we'll get up to speed, and then we'll just bump right off the top of here and be on our merry way. Uh, okay, so I think that's good. Now, let's get the blocks upgraded uh, to normal wood in... Ready for duty. Roberta has some planks in her inventory because it's too heavy for me otherwise. Uh, and we start right over here. And then, like I said, I'll eventually get these upgraded to concrete... At least concrete, maybe even metal later. Uh, but I just don't have enough concrete to do it right now, so. Can we make that like an end rail? Just to make it look nicer. Copy rotation. Now let's go here. Uh, back to rails. What I'm thinking is this, only this one here. Yeah, there we go. Me likey. And let's do the same thing with this then too, except for I think we're gonna need the opposite, um, this one here. Okay, so we got those upgraded to wood, so they're a little, 
little more solid. We'll work on getting them upgraded to concrete and then um, metal later. Okay, now next thing is we are going to do some painting. So I think what I want to do here is... Let's go with a asphalt look. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start in the middle here, and we're gonna go to materials, and we want asphalt, metal basic. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Do we not have asphalt? What? How could we not have asphalt? Um. All right. What if I go into the creative mode? Because I think that gives us more options. Replace paint, copy block, materials. It doesn't. So what is what's used like for the road then? You know, uh, concrete gray. I mean, I guess that could work. It does sort of look like asphalt, doesn't it? Um. Okay. Oh, um, what else do we have besides that? There's black granite. There's pill case side. No, that's all shiny. That doesn't look right. What about black TV screen? I think that's going to be shiny too, isn't it? Oh, no, that's just... Well, yeah, it does have a little bit of a... a light glare on it, doesn't it? Um, okay, that doesn't really quite do the trick either. How could we not have an asphalt paint? I don't get it. I don't get it, man! Come on, lag. There we go. Copy block, paint all sides, paint surface. What does replace paint mean? The next painted texture will be replaced in the current prefab or selection. Does that mean everything? Oh! Yep, that's what it means. <laughs> okay. Um... That probably used a metric butt-ton of paint, too, to do that, didn't it? I'll bet you. Um, okay, that's not really quite what I wanted to do. I mean, I like the black. I just... The gloss, though, looks weird. <laughs> I wouldn't have that on an actual runway. Um, so, you know what? Actually, this is what I'm after here. Let's just do texture picker. What is that texture? materials how do I know what texture I have I mean what it's called it looks like oh it's right here a tar paper oh right okay but that also you know does have an asphalt type of look to it as well plus it matches the rest of this roof Okay, so we're going to use another metric butt-ton of paint here. Well, no. Let's not do that again. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go spray gun paint surface. I think this paints the entire surface. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do. Okay. Okay. All right, now let's set this back to just paintbrush and we'll get that little piece. And I want to paint just along here. Okay, if we do a paint surface here now, um, 
that should just get that one and then this one and this one and this one um if we okay so we got this thing going on if we do paint all sides there we go that gets rid of that's what we want to do can we do this though let's do texture picker I don't want to paint all sides I just want paint brush hmm okay so if we do this oh you know what though these blocks here are different than those blocks I didn't put the right blocks down okay I, I don't want to mess with that. Uh, so let's just go back to paint all sides. Uh, texture pick that. And we'll hit these here. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here. How come you're not painting all sides? Paint all sides. There we go. Very good. Okay, now let's go texture pick this. And we'll put this back the way that it was. And let's do paint surface and paint surface. Okay, so I think the only way I could get these blocks to match those is I'd have to... Uh, well, here, let's try something. If we go here... Oh, shit. I still have that on paint surface. Damn it, Jim! We're wasting paint. Um, texture pick. Oh, we're out of paint. Okay. Do you have any more paint? How may I assist you? Ah, oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have wasted a metric crap ton of paint. Well, it is what it is. Okay. Um, so let's go back to single paintbrush and just hit these. Because I don't know if it does paint all sides, it might use more in fact i'm sure it would because it's painting all sides underneath and even the parts we can't see so we'll just do this manually to get rid of those so everything is um consistent very good okay now next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to go into here. And I want just, I, I kind of just want like white. We have medicine cabinet. Or we have, well, that's kind of it. We have metal white. But I don't think I'm gonna like the way that looks. Let's try medicine cabinet. You know what though? Is this a is this a glowy thingamadoodle? Yeah, that isn't gonna work. Okay. Um so let's try drywall cream metal white. Let's try metal white. No, nope, that doesn't look good either. Oh, shoot. There's fabric blinds. There's drywall cream. I mean, that could work, I suppose. So we, we either do that or we do... Um, those are all grays. 
I've used fabric blinds before as a white texture. Yeah, I think that I like that actually. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to uh, paint this line all the way down. Uh, we're going to run out of paint, man. I think I have stuff to make more. So this is our landing. Our landing pad. And this is our takeoff pad. And so, you know, regardless of what side we come in, you know, we, we, we have the fence here as a as a backstop and I might even want to make that a little higher now that I think about it, just because we could bounce. But I mean, you know, it's not like we're coming in with a fixed wing aircraft speed though either. If I do it right, which, you know, I should, we should be fine. Okay, now, next thing I want to do is, uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this, but we're going to do every other lock now to kind of make, you know, the stripes in the middle idea. Too darn bad I wasted all that paint, man. But it is what it is. Let's see. I don't know if our chrysanthemum is ready to harvest yet. The garden's still growing. Oh, balls. Okay. Well, it's 91% of the way there. Um... Okay, so I was thinking next about uh, maybe some lighting along, you know, along the runway. I'm not sure what would work well for that though. Light lamp. Oh, I guess we could just make a a big floodlight to light it up. I was thinking more along the lines of runway lights, though. Uh, that's probably something we would make in the workbench, I'm guessing. Where do we get... Do we have fluorescent lights? that we could put down in the middle. The problem with those, though, is if we run into them, it's going to bounce us up. So that's not necessarily the best scenario. We have these recessed lights that we could do. Um, we could put street lights up, too. Well, that's a drone light anyway. Or we could do the um, uh, the, uh, the just the electric spotlight to light it up. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Just out of curiosity, let's grab these. Oh, that made us like mega heavy. If I decide to use these or anything I pull out of the creative menu, I'll, I'll legit make them. Uh, right now we're just testing. Oh, you know what keeps bugging the hell out of me? Uh, I've got 12 more concrete blocks.
Okay. And then we'll paint we'll paint those up when uh, we get some more paint. So I guess we're just waiting for the chrysanthemum. If we were all oh my goodness, I this got all screwed up too. Crap. Okay. Well, uh, I'll have to fix that later, I guess. Uh, if we were in the, the forest biome, I'd just run down and go pick some. But the forest biome's a long ways away from here. That's got seven more minutes to go. So let's just wait for that chrysanthemum to uh, to mature. Now, again, for lighting... What we could maybe do is put... Oh, we were gonna we were gonna check these out. Now the other problem with this though is if we put these down, we're gonna have to wire each one of them. That's gonna be a mega pain in the butt. I don't think I want to mess with that. I don't think I want to mess with that. So what what we could do is we could build a couple of floodlights and have one sitting here, you know, pointing that direction. Or you know, even just put them in the middle, one pointing there and then one on the other end pointing the other way. That might be a better way to handle that. Do I even have any floodlights? I might have some that we've looted, perhaps. Let's take a look-see. If we had that, it would probably be in... No, if we had it, it would be in here. Uh, we got industrial bulbs, industrial lights. Here we go. One spotlight right there. Now, do these have to... These probably require power in, in UDL. I'm guessing. Use spotlight. Do nothing, take. Yeah, they probably have to be wired, right? Let's pick this back up. Why am I so heavy? Oh, yeah, let's get rid of those. I'm still super heavy. Why am I super heavy? Um, well, this is probably heavy, and we got quite a few wood blocks. And a little bit of stone. And Roberta's kind of heavy, too. Don't tell her I said that, though. I know I say that all the time, don't I? <laughs> oh, Power Roberta. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, we have a little bit of stone here. Let's get that put away. Okay. Uh, we need a wiring tool and some wire. So we're going to find that in here. Wiring tool and we're going to find wire in here. Okay, so my thought was the first thing I want to do is let's just put that down for a second. I want to confirm that it needs to be wired. I'm sure it does, but yep, it does. Okay. Um, all right, so let's disconnect that. Pick it up. We're going to have to run some relays to get this to actually work the way that I want it to work. Okay, so that goes there. And do I have some relays down below? Let's go look. Pretty sure I do. If not, we can make them. They're not that expensive to make. Yeah, we got the relays. You know, we could actually use timer relays too. So the lights only come on at night. 
which makes sense. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put I'm going to put a timer relay here. And then we're going to run off of We could run off of that relay there, so that means we want to be uh, even with that block. So even with this block here, and then um, let's stick one there, and we'll stick one here. This wiring's just gonna stay exposed for now. I might um I mean I don't know what I don't know how, how else to do this because if we do if we put the wiring down below then it's gonna show up <coughs> um down below, which is even worse than having it show up here. You know what we could actually do? Maybe maybe we could put like power poles up and have the wire up high. Yeah, that's an idea. Okay, well, for now, though, let's just, um, oh, there's no way that's going to reach. So this is about the halfway point, so we'll just put another relay right here. Yeah, I like that idea. Maybe we could do, like, power pulls. Okay, good. Now, we want this timer relay to start at um, we'll have it start at 2200 and we'll have it end at 7 or no 4 let's have it in at 5 a.m. it's usually pretty bright by 5 a.m. okay Now, I don't know it, how far this light's going to go or how well it's going to light up. We, we're not really going to be able to effectively see that until nighttime. So let's go ahead and see what we need to make another floodlight. Hopefully I can make those. Uh, no, spotlight. No? Light? Light. What? Spotlight. Do I not know how to make spotlights? It should be... I mean, it should show up if it has a schematic and just tell us we don't know how to make it, but it doesn't come up at all. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's a little confusing. Would you may... I, I don't... I would imagine we would make that in the mechanics table. It just doesn't seem right. That's got to be a workbench item. Or, oh, maybe it's artisan. Is it artisan? Nope. What the heck, man? Hmm. Maybe, maybe we have to, maybe we're just going to have to loot. Oh, geez, Louise. That, no wonder we ran out of paint. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, yeah. We're going to have to make a buttload of paint to fix all this. I didn't really put the right rails in here either, did I? Okay, well, um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't see any way for me to, to craft a spotlight. So it looks like we're going to have to loot one when we're out and about. So, yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay, well, so we're only going to be able to use the one light anyway. And that might be just as well, because I want to see how effective it is. It might not work very well, in which case... We might have to see if there's a better option, whatever that might actually be. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just don't see a way for me to, to make a spotlight. So let's just put that in there for now. And let's see if the chrysanthemum is uh, ready to go so we can make some more paint so we can fix all my screw ups. Well, and finish uh, what we were doing. So let's run back up there. Okay, good. We are ready to go. Alright, we might as well harvest the whole entire garden. Okay, so we got more paint cooking up in here. Um, we have enough fuel to finish that. Let's grab uh, that that little bit there. We'll put the aloe vera leaf in here. And now we can go back up and finish this out. Let's grab the paintbrush here. And we want to uh, texture pick. And I uh, let's just do let's do paint roller. Oh, yeah, we don't want to do that though. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll. Oh, that's different on the outside. Okay. Well, here, let's do this. Let's do texture pick and single brush and paint all sides for that. Then we will do texture pick and we don't want to paint all sides. So how do I know when this is on or off? doesn't doesn't seem to tell me okay so let's just do paintbrush okay that looks good okay so we fixed that I'll, I'll worry about this later I want to finish our runway first okay so texture pick make sure we're just um single paintbrush Good. All right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. That's going to take an enormous amount of paint to fix. All of this. Uh, and what we what we want it to look like is this texture here. So if we do a surface, what happens? That's good. That is exactly what we wanted to do. Okay. Uh, let's also do the surface on here. And on here. Well, that's a little bit different paint there. Okay, well, I'll worry about that later. 
and then we want to texture pick this and do surface here. Okay, that looks good. For the edge of that, yeah, what's it look like over here? It's probably all screwed up all the way around, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so we want uh, we want that. No, we want uh, we want this. I think, don't we? Oh shoot, that's the whole corner. Okay, yeah, that's just gonna be a royal pain in the butt each time we do it. That's okay though. We can we can we can do that. I don't mind that so much. Okay, now let's go to here again. Actually like that. Fix that, fix that. Now let's do surface. And surface. Okay, that's looking pretty good for around this side. Okay, we need to do the same thing here, except for we need surface. There we go. Okay. Good, good. Surface and surface. Now, texture pick this and do surface. And surface. And that fixes that. Do that surface. And this one over here. Oh, you're kidding me. Did that paint all the way down? <laughs> oh my goodness. That got so screwed up. That painted like all the way down below there. Um, oh lordy. Okay. We've got a lot of paint to have to make to fix that. I'm I, I continue I'm screwing it up even more. All right. We'll fix that on it at another time. I, I'm done messing with it. I am done messing with it, man. Okay, so um, I thought about putting some rails along here too. It's just that if we do that well, I'll tell you what, before we do anything more in that regard let's go ahead and get the gyrocopter out and take it out for a spin yeah, see, that's all screwed up, too. That surface command is dangerous. <laughs> it's, like, really dangerous. Um, but, yeah, let's grab the gyro. And let's grab some fuel. I'm going to put a few other things away here really quick that we don't need to take with us. So that can go back in there. Uh, let's put half of these boards in there. And I'll put the paint back in here for now. Um, actually, paint in there, I suppose. Okay, let's take this for a spin. And, you know, depending upon how... I, I'm not really worried about the takeoff. The takeoff is going to be easy peasy, lemon squizzy. But the landing... We'll just see how it feels with the current setup before I decide if I'm going to make it even narrower. Okay, so we'll put the gyro here. And let's fuel it up. Well, that doesn't take that much fuel. 
put a couple extra cans of fuel in there. And all right. Here we go. Yeah, takeoff is, is nothing, man. Okay, so that is... No, that's not a good idea. Um, I forgot all about that. <laughs> we lucked out so much, you guys. We caught it before it got away from us. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Nose up. And then what's nose down? C. Okay. It's been a while since I've flown this, so I couldn't remember. <laughs> we lucked out so much. Oh, wow, that was close. Okay. So we're out and about flying on our gyro. There really needs to... I know I say this all the time because I do this every time I build the gyrocopter in this game. I bail off in the midair at least once every time. Uh, but I'm going to say it again. There needs to be a... Are you sure you want to bail off the gyrocopter in midair command? Look how badly I screwed up the side of that building uh, with the paint. Oh, for Pete's sake. All right, well, we'll fix it later. Anyway, the idea here is we can come in for a landing on either side of the runway. So let's approach it from this side. Look at Roberta following us. Okay. And we'll just kind of dip down and then pull back. And our rotors are hitting the building, but they don't ha actually have any collision on them. So that, you know, that's not that hard, actually. That's pretty easy peasy. So I think we can go ahead and put a railing along here, too. Uh, just because it gives it a, a very distinct um separation of the runway from the rest of the roof not that it isn't already distinct but i just feel like the railings would be kind of cool there and what we really probably should do too is because of the rotors hitting the building even though in actuality it doesn't matter we should probably land more in the center of this runway anyway Trying to get the gyrocopter uh, repositioned for the next takeoff. Honestly, it's easier just to pick the doggone thing up and reset it, but then I have to take everything out of its inventory, too. Now, later on, we'll also um, play around... Oh, okay, I've had it. That's enough. Uh, later on, we'll also play around with the um the bigger choppers okay let's pick this that and reset it and park it there okay let's make sure the fuel's topped off and we'll put a couple of extra fuel cans in its inventory and there we go all right you guys we make good progress in this episode so here's the plan next episode I have no idea when Horde Night happens again, by the way. Uh, actually, no, I think it happens on 147, so we have two more days. Uh, but we are ready. I've got everything repaired. Uh, I do need. I think I do need to make a few more pipe bombs. Uh, but we're ready for Horde Night when it happens. So uh, we're going to do some exploring in the next episode. And we're going to jump in the gyro and take off. Uh, I have not been in the southwest part of the map. Um... We did. I we could go explore this city up in the northeast too, and then yeah, just kind of look around and and uncover the rest of the map, and we'll have uh, like I said a little bit of an exploration episode uh, with our gyro in the next one. So that should be fun. Looking forward to it. All right, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.